siku chache kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu Kenya iko tayari kwa uchaguzi huu wa Agosti 9 tumehuru ya uchaguzi na mipaka IEBC imejitokeza kimasomaso na kuhakikishia wa Kenya kuwa uchaguzi utakuwa wa huru na haki. We have all affirmed that as institutions um, that are mandated to ensure this uh, we are all well prepared. We are safe ready and we will uh, provide uh, security. Uh, 100% as required by ABC and we are satisfied that the deployment also leaves uh, the security sector ready to deal uh, with the general security around the country. We have election materials which are strategic materials, ballot papers, uh, they are coming in from the printers and uh, we shall start uh, deploying them to the field and they will be there on or before the 6th of August. Uh, the other logistics are involving the Kim's kids which will also be dispatched to the field. The exercise is ongoing. Jumbe za amani zinazidi kutolewa na baadhi ya viongozi wa kidini nchini. Kwa jina langu ni askofu mkuu Martin Kivuva Musonde, Mjimbo Katoliki Kula Mombasa na pia ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la maaskofu wa Kenya na tumeona watu mbalimbali walioenda wakitulivu bado. Tuwe watulivu bado. Kisha piga kura tafuta nafasi ya mapema uende nyumbani ili usio kutwa na wa, wanaoona kwamba wameshindwa, wameshinda, waanze kupigia mayowe makelele, wakusumbue na wewe uingie kwenye hali ya hatari. Tatu na pia la mwisho ni kwamba baada ya kupiga kura watu watazamia IEBC ishaweka mipangilio ya kuhesabu, kwanza kuokota zile kura, kuziweka katika namna inatikikana, usihesabiwe pale pale. Tunaelewa mwaka huu tumeshinikizwa na IEBC kwamba sabiwa pale pale kituoni zinatangazwa kwa hivyo sikiza kama uko pale lakini hata kama uhitaki ngoja nenda nyumbani utapata habari ndio usalama maaskari na wote ambao wamepewa nafasi ya kuhakikisha kuna fujo tafadhalini tunawaomba muweze kukaa gangari muweze kutulinda sisi wananchi ambao tutapenda amani na sote watu wa dini mbalimbali mbali, na mwanakenja wa kawaida na hata wale ambao hawaendi makanisa yoyote wamesikia ujumbe tangu mwanzo zipigwe na amani tuongoje kura kwa amani zihesabiwe zikishahesabiwa tukipata habari tuondoke zikishatangazwa tumewaomba wanaopigiwa kura wajaribu kusikiza kwa makini na ikiwezekana wakubali yale atakayotokea uhesabu yake si hivyo peleka hoja zetu kwa wanao lakini je uchaguzi huu uko na tofauti gani na mwaka wa 2017 hivi sasa rais aliye mamlakani uhuru kinyata amejitokeza wazi wazi na kumuunga mkono kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga wa azimio la umoja akimwacha naibu wake William Ruto wa Kenya kwanza matani hata baada ya kukiri kumuunga mkono maendeleo na haki ni gari moja peke yake inatupeleka upande huo tunaelewana na hiyo gari ina driver mzee mwingine rafiki yangu ambaye kwa jina nyingine ana, anaitwa baba Sasa ni wazi kuwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta anamuunga mkono Raila Odinga. Nauliza kwa he. kama mmekubali mtamuunga baba, mumpatieni pia jeshi yake ya kufanya ka? Kasi. Jeshi yake ya kufanya ka? Kasi. Ama ni namna gani? Si ni namna hiyo? Na, na bado mimi ni rais leo. Kwani alikuwa mzee ama ni nini? Kwa kulikuwa vijana wangefanya kazi hiyo, walikuwa wapi? Ama ni namna gani? Sini hivyo? Uzee si ugo? Uzee sio nini? Haja ni mtu ambaye ako na roho ya wananchi, haja ni mtu mtulivu, haja ni mtu ambaye hana haja kukimbiza mapesa, haja ni mtu ambaye hana kukimbiza bibi za wengine na mambo mengine, ya? Si ndio hiyo? 
na mtu mtulivu ambaye focus yake itakuwa kazi yake mtaunga mzee wetu mkono jameni Hatua hii ya rais imepelekea kiongozi wa Kenya kwanza William Ruto kuingiwa na kiwewe na kuonekana mwenye hasira katika kampeni zake is done and dusted and our competitors know it as much as we do ni kweli ama si kweli sio wana jamaa wanajua tumewashinda tayari walikuwa wanazungushana na opinion poll sasa imefika mwisho tarehe yenyewe ni tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane na tutakutana na wao kwa debe ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli ni kweli ama si kweli nataka ni muombe rais wetu wa Kenya tafadhali bwana rais you shouldn't be the source of threats in Kenya wacha kutisha wa Kenya kazi yako ni kuhakikisha kwamba wa Kenya wote wako salama wacha kutuambia ya kwamba tutakujua wewe ni rais sisi ndio tulikuchagua na tulikuchagua uwe rais wa Kenya wacha kututisha sisi hapana watu wa kutishwa kweli ama si kweli kweli ama si kweli tunaelewana sijui kama tunaelewana namwambia rafiki yangu uhuru kenyata my friend please wakati ulikuwa unahitaji watu wa kusimama na wewe tulisimama na wewe to the man huyo kitendawili unatusukumia saa hizi huyo ni jamaa ambaye ameangaisha Kenya na hata alikuangaisha wewe hatuwezi kukubali wewe kutusukuma na mimi nataka nimwambie rais wacha kuniletea maneno my friend wewe sukuma candidate yako bwana kitendawili unaniongelea nini sijui kama tunaelewana Mr President please stop talking about me talk about your candidate tunaelewana mtuambie wewe rais utuambie huyu mtu wa kitendawili atawacha kungoa reli lini atawacha kujiapisha lini atawacha kuvuruga Kenya lini atawacha mambo ya violence lini na utuambie ajenda ya huyo jamaa wachana na William Ruto I supported you when you needed a man to support me support you if you do not want to support me leave me alone Swali ni je itakuwaje Raila Odinga akikosa kutoa ushindi baada ya serikali kuonekana kumunga mkono Je, Raila Odinga atakubali matokeo? We are of course monitoring the, the electoral commission and um, we have actually pointed out areas of our concern that we want them to address to ensure that the process is free and fair. We have actually said that if it is free and fair and we, we win or we lose uh, fairly, we will accept the result either way uh, so long as it's free and fair. Au je, William Ruto atakubali matokeo? As a candidate in this election, I will respect the outcome of the election and whichever way this election goes i will respect the outcome and the verdict of the people of kenya so that we can have a peaceful country uh, going forward yote tisa kumi ni kuishi kwa amani baada ya uchaguzi huu wa kenya hawafai kujihusisha na siasa potovu baada ya uchaguzi kwani wanasiasa hawa baadaye hurudiana na kusalimiana maisha yao yakiendelea kama kawaida lakini wewe mkenya yatafakari haya unapigana kwa sababu ya mwanasiasa unavunja mguu au mkono alafu baada siku chache wanasiasa hawa wanasalimiana na kuwapa kufanya kazi pamoja hapo wewe um, utaachwa kilema na mwanasiasa huyo uliyekuwa unampigania hakujui na hatakuja kukulipia ada ya hospitali kama alivyosema gavana wa Wasingishu Jackson Mandago siasa tuweke kwa mapafu si kwa roho. Niliwaambia hii siasa msiweke kwa roho. Mambo ya siasa ni kama upepo. Inaweza panda, inaweza shuka, inaweza simama. Na mumeona tayari hii vile hiyo maneno nimeanza kuzunguka. Ama mmejaona, simeona. Ilianza 2014 ama ilikuwa sijui wapi, handshake kakuja. Watu wengine karibu wapandishe pressure. Sasa tumeenda kwa hii siasa, tumeenda, tumeenda, tumeenda. Unaona sasa mtabadi Watangula wako kwa bottom up wanatanga tanga lakini hapo nyuma Musalia na Mudawa watangula walikuwa kuona gani wewe endelea kuhangaika hapa Eldoret <laughs> watu watakutana nani wacho hapo kwa roundabout ukipiga kelele i'm telling you 
I am not the most experienced politician. Lakini kwa hii muda kidogo mmenipatia nafasi. Nimeona mambo mengi sana kwa siasa. Tusiingize hisia kwa siasa. Maana safu ya siasa yahitaji washirika si wafuasi. Tupige kura kwa amani tuwachague viongozi wa adilifu na wenye sera. Encouraging each eligible voter to go out to vote but also vote wisely for those who best embrace our aspirations in the most practical way. We therefore reiterate our earlier message that candidates must prepare their supporters for any result, successful or unsuccessful. Candidates have to play their civic role by deliberate strategies that assure their supporters that whatever the outcome, life will continue. Jina langu ni Mokoma Gabriel, haya ni Makala Mokoma.